Hey everyone, it's Kiryu, and in this video I'm going to be doing a quick closer look at the red blood cell nendroid from Cells at Work, done by Good Smell Company. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick 360 of her. I honestly haven't found any issues. I apologize for the lighting and the weird positioning I'm in at the moment. Still trying to figure out a new setup right now. Also, my camera just really seems to not like super bright lights. So I'm just going to try to deal with this. This is her. I think her colors are super nice. I'm really enjoying the way she turned out. Her outfit isn't super complicated, but the details it does have are really cute. As you can see, her little like bag she has here with the little buckles. She has the little symbol on her arm right there on the jacket. She has a nice belt buckle, which it's hard to kind of see because I did put the box in the way. Um, you can see her little jeans and the little jean pockets. Um, even the little like short clip thing. I don't know what that is. Seam thing. Whatever. It's there. She has little laces on her shoes as well. That's cute. There's little breast pockets on her coat. Her hat is done really well. The only complaint I have on the hat is if you can see how there's that weird center piece that's like more shiny than the rest of it and then it gets kind of like rough around the top. You can see this kind of roughness right here compared to this like middle part that's kind of smooth and shiny. I feel like all of it should have been as smooth and shiny as that. We've got her number on her hat right there and the little map thing she came with. Unfortunately, I just realized her base is backwards. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing on the inside. They kind of got lazy in that front, unfortunately. Um, I know that a lot of little details on Nendroids, um, you'll see little details like that where they'll actually add that stuff in. My camera does not want to focus. Uh, I guess another like super, super, super tiny complaint is just that when you pose her with this box, the box is a little crooked in the one hand because the way the arm lines up and the way you hold it, uh, or the way she holds it, sorry, it tends to be a little crooked, which I feel like is a little unrealistic because if, well, I guess it's oxygen, so is it heavy? Probably not. Um, maybe for a cell though, I don't know. But yeah, it just seems like it's on a tilt there, and that would be really awkward to hold with one hand. So I was hoping it would be more lined up, but I can't get it any more straight than that. Because this arm doesn't rotate, as this is a full arm attachment, this uh, forearm doesn't come off. Where on this side, the forearm is rotatable because it's detachable. Uh, on this one, it is not. So it is just a straight arm piece. Even if you rotate this up and down, it kind of ends up hitting her chest. So it's a little hard to pose it straight as on the box, it is shown where it looks like the box is parallel to the ground. So I don't know if that's just a trick of the picture or whatever, but yeah, that is something I would have liked to have seen. Again, it's super, super minor, not a big deal. A lot of people won't even notice. I did not put her in a cute pose the way I did with a lot of my other Nendroids. Uh, normally I pose them with a, like a cute shippy pose, but it is super late at night. I am way too tired to go get the white blood cell, um, white blood cells box at the moment. I'm just going to take her hat off so you guys can see her face while I talk about this. Here's her without her hat. Um, I would have liked to put them in a more shippy pose because I do ship them. They're very cute. I enjoy their chemistry a lot. It is a super fun time. Um, you can see a little bit of like little paint, thick dots there on the edge of her hair, but super not noticeable. Again, I think the colors are really nice. Her little curly hair out here, super cute. I just kept her regular face plate on because I didn't feel like changing it. Again, it's like four in the morning and I am exhausted. Here is her like really cute little blushy face plate along with her shocked face plate right here. I enjoy all three of them. Very nice. Her eyes look super nice in this one. And I will put the hat back on really quick. And pop the white nendroid over here. So this is them together. Again, I apologize for not doing a cute shippy pose. I would have liked to. But again, 
I'm repeating myself a billion times, super late, didn't want to get his box. I just reorganized all my boxes and they're like covered with a blanket and stuff. And it just, it would have been a lot. So I'm not going to worry about that. But yeah, this is how I post her. Looks like she's getting to work, which is very accurate for the show and the manga itself. I do recommend the show. I recommend the manga. If you love biology, you will most likely love the show. It's like that old cartoon about the cells in the human body and like the immune system. Something Jones. Was it Jones? Am I stupid? The answer is always yes. That's what this anime and manga remind me of. So if you enjoy that and biology, please definitely check it out. It's a great time. Um, I will link the white blood cells unboxing and closer look in the description below as well if you want to take a look at him. And yeah, you guys can take a look at her unboxing. I'll put that in the description as well if you want to see all the stuff she came with. Although I pretty much went through it in this video anyways. <laughs> but I show you the box and talk about some random stuff. So feel free to join that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all in the next video, but I will leave all of my social media in the description below along with my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Taka Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you guys so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. That is all. <laughs> I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!